Let's go to the year 1991. I was 16 years old and I heard on the radio something like Mr. Double Lena. Cool, let's talk. Tell the funky homo sapien. Hi, I'm the hip-hop collector. Hiphopcollector.com Mr. Double Lena, wow, that was something. So funky, it came in, it was like, wow, what is this? Tell the funky homo sapien it was. Super nice, 1991, I was 16 years old. The world of hip hop was opening up to me. And I was listening to Public Enemy, NWA, all that kind of stuff. And then came something like Tell the funky homo sapien. The funkiness, that was so nice, it was also cool that it was produced by Ice Cube. But this, this was totally different. Del the Funky Homo Sapien took out the album. So nice. Like I said, Mr. Dabolina, Dr. Bombay, that's also a really, really cool track. Also, a few more serious tracks in there. Same old thing. And pissing on your steps. Bit of criticism against weak rappers. But in all, wow. You can hear just the influence. George Clinton. Parliament. The inlay is also very nice. Like I showed you already. But when you open it up. It goes like this. It's always fun. Dell was always something a bit out of the box, I found. This album is really, really cool. Really, really love it. So I went into my archive of the magazines, took out the Source magazine of uh, December 1991 with Kid and Play on the front cover. Cool on the back side, also Digital Underground, Advert, Sons of the P, what an album that was. So we go a bit deeper into that source, to the record report. Back then, record ratings guide. It were those days that it was not really like mics, but more like vinyls that you get as a rating. As you can see here with Public Enemy. But then we go to the next page and there is Del the Funky Homo Sapien. I wish my brother George was here. Gets a rating of 4, which is acceptable. It's a really cool album, really, really love it. The review ends with Dell's debut shows and proofs with a sound that is as funky as it is inventive. Don't sleep. And that's true because Dell was just starting here with his solo albums, collaborations. He did so many things. His second album, No Need for Alarm. Wow, what, what, what was that? That was even better, but that's for, an, that's for another episode. But all his collaborations on the Judgment Night soundtrack, Deltron 3030, Gorillas, and so on and so on. Del, not to be underestimated, he's super cool. No, Del the Funky Homo Sapien, I wish my brother George was here. What are your thoughts about this album? Let me know. What are your thoughts about Del in general? Let me know in the comments and see you all in the next episode. Peace.